This episode of the Young Turks is brought to you by Westhost, offering premium web hosting since 1998. Go to westhost.com slash TYT for 25% off. Westhost! Westhost, Westhost. Let's get into the couple of things that, uh, that, uh, that struck us as particularly interesting. You mentioned uh, mm -hmm. Don't Ask, Don't Tell. Um, I thought that was a really nice moment in the speech. It was a nice moment where you actually got those sort of, you know, America's awesome uh, moments. Mm -hmm. um, so it's toward the end of the speech, and uh, he starts talking about the greatness of America. Um, and then he had a moment where he used the word gay. Um, <laughs> And I don't, I, gotta, I don't think the word gay comes out of Barack Obama's mouth easily. Uh -huh. um, uh, maybe I'm wrong, but you're going to hear him uh, say it here as he talks about uh, the fact of you know, the, the repeal of Don't Ask, Don't Tell and how it's a nice moment. But I, I don't know if our clip shows it effectively, but I'll tell you what happened. But it has to do with this speech, which is a, this line, which is a beautiful line. And then uh, John Boehner's reaction to this, which I think is also significant. But here's the great line from uh, Barack Obama about Don't Ask, Don't Tell. Our troops come from every corner of this country. They're black, white, Latino, Asian, Native American. They are Christian and Hindu, Jewish and Muslim. And yes, we know that some of them are gay. Starting this year, no American will be forbidden from serving the country they love because of who they love. Uh, Boehner didn't clap. Mm -hmm. You know, and I guess a lot of Republicans uh, didn't clap, or a lot of those who didn't support Don't Ask, Don't Tell. Some Republicans certainly did support the repeal. Um, uh, the military, they don't clap at anything. Right. Um, but um, for the love of God, it's such a great line. You know, the country they love. They love the country for the people they love. Who doesn't want people to be in love? Right. You know? Who doesn't want people in love? To, lo to love their country. To love their country and defend their country. Exactly. Right. If, you, if your name's Larry and you want to love Stuart and mm -hmm. love America, like, who cares? Right. Why can't you just applaud that and still say afterwards, yeah, I don't think that gays should serve in the military because I think it disrupts unit cohesion. Mm -hmm. Just say that. Or I think we rushed into it. Or I think the military has to have a clear say and we're fighting two wars and I don't think we should change direction in the middle of a war. And I think we allowed, I think we allowed interest group pressure or public pressure to dictate military policy. Any of the arguments that I think is, a, is code for bigotry. Mm -hmm. But any of those arguments, some people I think genuinely believe that. I, I, who aren't bigots. I suspect that there are those who would say, look, in a perfect world, we have it, but this is not how we're going to go about changing it. Mm -hmm. Use that argument, but then say, look, on that point, at that moment, yeah, I understand that concept. And not, come on. Yeah. Look, I, I actually disagree a little bit with you because I think, you know, he wants to appeal to his base. If he claps, he's going to get it from the right, and he doesn't want to get it from the right. It's something that he truly believes. He doesn't believe that um, homosexuals should be able to serve in the military. So he didn't clap. I think that it's childish, but at the same time, he's worried about people's perceptions of him. Yeah. So, okay. Well, here's my perception of mm -hmm. him. He's a bigot. And he's orange. We're all, I mean, that perception is going to stand forever. Like, that is never going to change. We thought that before the State of the Union address, we were going to think that no matter what. Yeah. You know? Or but at least, let me rephrase that. This is a bigoted position. Mm -hmm. It's an orange bigoted position. I just think that people who are orange ought to have sympathy for people who are gay. <laughs> I don't know. Is that wrong? So anyway, that what, what was interesting from a political uh, uh, from a political point of view, I guess, or from a from a political analysis, it's not the right word either. But what Obama did here is after delivering that line um, about gays in the military, mm -hmm. you know, and you got uh, guys like John Boehner sitting on their hands, is he turns right around in the next breath and delivers uh, this line to sort of prevent sort of any lingering sort of military gay animosity in the room from lingering. Mm -hmm. uh, and he squelches it with a big military crowd pleaser. I call on all our college campuses to open their doors to our military recruiters and ROTC. It is time to leave behind the divisive battles of the past. It is time to move forward as one nation. So it's like, because you see, Bain, you can see Boehner back there and like Biden starts applauding that and Boehner's like, 
Oh, wait, this is... <laughs> no, no, this one's good. This is good. <laughs> Military recruiters and, and ROTC guys on college campuses, like, yeah, we're for this. I didn't, I didn't quite know what was happening there. I was still, was still irritated about the gay stuff from seconds ago. Uh, yeah, so he took that. He sort of took that away, right? Uh, and suggesting because you know there'd been the thought that uh, in the middle of the Iraq and Afghan wars, was it right for, you know, for colleges to recruit, right for Marine, for the Marines and the Army and the Navy to go and the Air Force to go have recruiting stations on college campuses and recruit there? I was actually never really uh, against that, mm -hmm. um, but uh, now he was saying, I, I, as far as I know, they were still there on a lot of college campuses. But he was saying, look, come on, this is they get to be there and let's just put an end to that. I don't even know if that's a real thing that he's in charge of in any way, but the call to say, look, let's just forget all that. They can be there and kids, just, so don't sign up. Exactly. Um, they can make the decision themselves. Right. And it was a nice moment to put right after that. I thought sort of politically, uh, I thought politically savvy. And at West Host offers web hosting for 19 cents a day. You can't get cheaper. That's right. Ridiculous. And you could do web host transfers. Like you got a website, transfer it. For free. You have 24 seven support. 60 day money back guarantee. Well, then you literally can't lose. 25% off if you go to westhost.com slash TYT. You know what I think about that? I think West Host. West Host.